Norman, Matt. Yeah. Hey, Bob Norman, how you doing? Bob, how are you? I'm okay. I've been out of town. Sorry, but uh, getting back to you. Got you, got you. Um, Bob, there are. Um, I'm I'm willing to make a a affidavit. Um, to the serious crimes that have been committed, I need to. Um, you know, even everything going back to 2017. Um, I'm not only not only am I openly alleging right now that my daughter is a victim of human trafficking and exploitation of a vulnerable person, but um, but but pursuant to the definition of of human trafficking is defined in Wikipedia. Um, I mean, <laughs> everything that's happened to me, um, the fact that I was that 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 I was accused of a crime that, that I didn't commit and, and held deprived of all due process rights in order to um, to openly or to, to get a to contrive a conviction um, to then banish me um, it, I mean all this stuff <laughs> Bob let me tell you what happened actually more recently I caught the Circuit Court of Lafayette County fraudulently changing records for the second time in a year. Have have proof of it. Um, I was simply trying to find out who was responsible for that. Um, and the following day, a affidavit was taken out. I know that Joey East was behind it. Joey actually blocked me in and told me not to go back into the Circuit Court. Um, when I have open matters going on, I... I simply was, I, I didn't cause any problems. I, in fact, I have it all on video and audio recorded. Um, but I, they took out an affidavit on me. It was, it was complete lies by this woman with Communicare. In fact, I'm working on a lawsuit to, to, to file against Communicare and against this, this person in particular. Um, but but they, t they, they judicially committed me. The following day after catching circuit court, fraudulently changing records, they pull up the. Well, let me ask you, what what change did they make, Matt? Um, the the judge, the assigned judge on the matter. They claim that it's done by algorithm, but the judge that was assigned to my matter um, twice now has been uh, Judge Kent Smith, and it has yeah. been snickered to Judge John Kelly Luther, which there's tremendous conflict of interest. He's yet to 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 allow me to even have a hearing. And he's insisting he's it, it's worse than herpes. He he keeps coming back to every single case matter that I have, insisting okay. on being the. Is that the change they made? You talking about a change of judges? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Well, let me back up to one other thing. Human trafficking. Are you saying that somebody's prostituting your daughter? No, but it doesn't have to involve prostitution okay. for it to be right. human what, trafficking. Okay. What, what what do you mean? Well, the fact that um, she's being harbored. Um, the Lafayette County has, okay. has taken full advantage of the fact of, okay. of my daughter being pulled away okay. and, and, and kept away. Okay. All right. I'm trying to figure out what I can do for you, Matt, because, I, you know, I, we've, I, there's no point in going back through all our previous discussions. Right. No. Let, me suggest, yeah. let me suggest this. Uh, if you take all of that as true, and I'll be honest with you, I don't, but I, let me give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's just take all of that as true. Then your civil rights have been violated. How about if I uh, – I hate to refer you to somebody else because the, <laughs> it's tough talking uh, to you. Matt, I'll, but, dude, dude, I'll sit but, down with the FBI. Like At this point, yeah, the U.S. Yeah, Attorney's Office and the FBI probably does need to get involved because it's extremely criminal. Okay. All right. Well, let me suggest this. How about the uh, Civil Rights Division out of Maine Justice? Okay. Uh, they are criminal uh, uh, prosecutors. Um, if all of this is true, then you, your civil rights have been violated. Let me refer you. Our civil rights prosecutor is Kim Hampton, and I'm going to ask Kim to get you in touch with one of the lawyers in Washington with the Civil Rights Division. Now, I'll be honest with you, Matt, I, 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 I don't buy it, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's see what happens. You uh, know, let me, let me say this, Bob. The one thing that I've made sure to do is document everything extremely yeah, well. 
see if I can get a status update from you. Okay. Uh, I have not forwarded your stuff to Washington because I read that you have a pending federal lawsuit. We don't uh, we don't get involved when there's litigation going on. When it's over with, I'll be glad to forward it all to uh, Washington. I mean, here's the, here's here's the thing. I don't I haven't filed anything yet, Bob. I I need to because certainly what happened in December was beyond despicable. Um, I've, I've found out through an employee of, of Communicator, um, actually one of their um, executive members, that, that, I read, that... I read that. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. It's, it's no surprise at this point the expense at Lafayette County that, that officials have gone to to try to cover things up and retaliate. I mean, the, the, the trial in Justice Court November 4th was complete yeah. evidence of it. Um, you, you know I disagree with you on this, and there's no sense in us arguing about it, but are you going to file something or not? Because, uh, as I say, if you are, we're going to wait until that's over before I forward anything out. I haven't filed anything yet. I mean, this should have been referred to them. Here's the thing, Bob. If if something happens to me, and and I don't, I'm, I haven't been given any kind of protections by the people that, that are supposed to, obviously, I mean, talking about uh, state officials here, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I've got there's there's a duty to, to provide protections to a victim, and that's that's exactly what what's going on here. And and I, I'm kind of I'm kind of baffled that it hadn't been forwarded to anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't I don't see you as a victim, Matt, but we disagree on that. I understand that. I mean, um, Bob, what other what other evidence do I need to produce? I've already shown we're perjured evidence was introduced to try to contrive a, a fraudulent conviction at Justice Court. In fact, I've got the whole four hours of testimony for you to listen to if you want to. It was ridiculous. Like, the expense right. these people have gone to is completely criminal. Here's another thing. I did a affidavit of truth, okay, 12-page affidavit of truth, um, declaration of truth that I put on file in Lafayette County on the 3rd. Um, Sheriff East had 15 days to rebut it to anything that he disagreed with or else he was tactically admitting to the claims that were being made. Uh, I think I sent that to you. He he chose not to rebut. He chose not, not to dignify that with a response, Matt. Okay, but, uh, but an unrebutted <laughs> affidavit stands as the truth in a court of law. No, no, it doesn't. Uh, okay, well, let's... Uh, if you want to, you might want to talk to Clay Joyner about it, but I'm not forwarding anything until you decide whether or not you've got litigation going on. I mean, I'm going to end up suing, yes, but does that does that stop y'all from providing yes. protections? It, well, that that leaves provide. me out there by myself still. I still don't have an attorney, and, and, and we, I've got to vindicate my rights on this. Man. We don't provide protection. We're not a law enforcement agency. Okay, but, but, but I have to vindicate my rights. Well, you're you're working at it. I'll give you that. Well, I mean, I'm looking for for the assistance. I've I've reached out to agencies to the proper authorities for help on the matter. And now, when I have to act, when when something actually happened, when I was, I mean, literally every definition of the First Amendment was violated, and and a lot more in December. Um. I mean, if you can show me one thing that I did wrong, and I've got the whole entire thing recorded, that, you know, one thing that I did wrong that deserved any of that, then, then you know what? I'll fold, I'll fold every single card that I have and, and you know, throw everything into the middle. I mean, I, like, I, I'll, I'll toss everything out. But the, the fact of the matter is nobody can do that. Okay. What do you want me to do, man? I want you to forward it to the proper authorities. I've been waiting for a call. I've been waiting for a call from him, Bob. 
I'm not going to. As long as you get litigation, then you can talk to Clay about it. There's no lending. There's nothing's been filed yet. Yeah, yeah, but you're telling me that you are going to file it. Okay. And 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 a victim of a crime. Would would you agree that they that they would that they would that, that they would vindicate their rights if they were a victim of extreme constitutional abuse that was strewn out over over four years time, and then they were attacked again? I don't see you as a victim of constitutional abuse, Matt. We disagree on that. We can completely disagree on that, but you know, <laughs> you've got. I, I'm going to remind you of. Well, I don't. I don't. I don't have the statutes right in front of me, but it's an officer of of the United States failing to. Uh, fulfill their duty. Uh, you know, the, 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 well, the, I appreciate I appreciate you telling me how to do my job, man. But look, I'm busy, so let's talk later, okay? <sighs> the U.S. Yes, it's Clay. And uh, what's your name? It's Matt Reardon. Again, I, um, I've called for several days. I sent an email last week that you had checked. I guess I must have missed somewhere where the um, where the the rights afforded to uh, alleged victims only apply to some and not all. Where the Fourteenth Amendment of the United States Constitution only applies to select ones and not all. That's certainly the uh, certainly the impression that I've been given by your office through the actions that have taken place. This right here is a prime example of it. To not even get any communication, I've gone up there to the office to speak with somebody. I have called multiple times. Nobody, y'all are swatting me away like a fly. Y'all have an obligation. This is not a civilian job, okay? Um, I'm not trying to just hammer down on you, nothing personal, but I do fully expect you to uphold the duties of your office. And there are serious allegations in play. I need to talk to you about um, some of the latest things. And apparently Bob just, you know, he, he doesn't want to send it to the Civil Rights Division anymore because he read where I was going to file a federal lawsuit. Well, you're damn right I am. Because I think anybody would. To protect themselves and safeguard their rights. But it shouldn't stop the thwarting of this stuff from a criminal perspective. 662-550-9752. I'm on the way up there.